Hi, welcome to Avondale with Dental. I'm Victor Young and we've been part of the Avondale community here for over 30 years. We treat patients from all over Auckland, sometimes all over New Zealand and all over the world. We've been at our new state-of-the-art premises here now for a year and a half. It's probably one of the most well-equipped and modern practices in Auckland. We have anything from 3D imaging with our x-rays, in-house technicians, a full sterilising department, hygienists and dentists. We treat people um, like friends and family, we treat them with respect and we are so lucky to have such wonderful patients to treat and that's why we've been here for such a long time. There's a couple of options for missing teeth. One is a denture. Now that can often be annoying and the food can get stuck underneath. The second option is bridge work, but quite often that means drilling into teeth that may not necessarily need to be drilled into. The best option is an implant. A dental implant is probably one of the best dental solutions for missing teeth that's ever been invented. The benefits of an implant is that the fact that you don't have to take a plate in and out. It's sturdy, it looks natural, and it feels exactly like a natural tooth. The biggest surprise of the whole implants process is how technology has changed. Um, it's, it's just provided me with more confidence. Okay, the control of pain for me is my fear of needles which again, I've worked with Victor, he, he knows up front that I have a fear of needles. So he talks me through the process and the option I have when I have a lot of work done is I go under um, the IV process, which is perfect for a person like me. When a patient comes in to be assessed for a dental implant, they come in and they'll be greeted by our friendly, competent team. Then they'll be shown into our surgery and we'll do a comprehensive dental examination to make sure they are suitable. We then take dental study models and 3D x-rays to make sure that the foundation is healthy enough. If everything is fine, then we organise them to come in for a dental appointment at their convenience. Quite often we get asked how long do dental implants take? It's a quite often a two-step procedure. The first step is the placement of the implant. You'll be sleeping through that so that there's no discomfort and the implant gets placed into the missing tooth area. Then we wait about three to four months and then when the bone has fully healed up around the implant, we place the dental crown on top. Now sometimes there's not enough bone left to put an implant if the tooth has had gum disease or if the tooth has been taken out where a lot of bone has been lost. And we need to replace that. And before we can put the implant in, we need to put a bone graft in and can often be done at the same time as the placement. I feel really like human again and I have, I can smile with confidence. I used to go through the stage where penny, people used to say, especially with grandchildren, you always want to take that photo snap. And I always, would close my mouth because I didn't want people to see my, my teeth. Now I actually smile with confidence. So it's huge. <laughs> Sorry.